So this is CAD 2004 question. If a man cycles at 10 km per hour, then he arrives at a certain place at 1 pm. If he cycles at 15 km per hour, he will arrive at the same place at 11 am. At what speed he must cycle to get there at noon? Right. Now let's um, see this question as um, the same concept which we are following right now in this post. There are several other methods to solve this easily using AMGM concept which I have discussed in my different post. So uh, I will not like to introduce it here because then again I need to explain you everything from scratch which is again easy you just uh, need one concept but right now we'll stick to whatever we have learned till now. So as we know that the distance is constant it's all about the varying speed that is 10 and 15 right and then the change in time and all right so what is the ratio of speed that is 10 is to 15 which is 2 is to 3 right 5 into 3 right from here we got the simplified version this is the ratio of time obviously when distance is concept, uh, constant you will have a ratio of sorry this is the ratio of speed right speed and then you will have ratio of time as 3 is to 2 that is ratio of time r of time so what is uh, the gap that is 1 but we need the gap of 2 hours right because it was 1 p.m. being talked about and 11 a.m. being talked about. The difference between the time which is happening is 2 hours. But we need a gap of 2. But we actually have a gap of 1 because of 3 minus 2 is 1. So the multiplication factor will become 2. Right? So we have 6 hours and two, uh, 4 hours. That's it. Okay? So, with a uh, 10 km per hour, you have speed as time as 6 hours. With um, 15 km per hour, you have 4 hours, right? That is basic. Now, you will use a con with the question is asked is 12, right? What get there at noon? So, what do you need to uh, do? Take uh, just simply um, two of them, like. Uh, consider the speed at 12 noon that is 12 noon as s so after that you can use that same basic formula and then 10 by s equals to 5 by 6 you can get s equals to 12 kilometer per hour even though this is a little lengthy but using amgm concept you don't even need to write all these you can directly solve this question um, without even thinking so much but just to preserve the concept I have shared this logic I hope this is clear with you now one more thing a uh, lot of people may have doubt how this equation came so before that I will explain you just briefly so you will not get any confusion see for 10 km per hour he took 6 hours right so imagine he finished at 1 pm right so what point he must have started 7 am that's why 8 9 10 11 12 and 1 that is 6 hours and imagine then if he traveled at 15 km per hour then he must have taken 4 hours and again he must have started at 7 am because the distance is anyway con like constant he is not changing the distance and all so you can think we have um, speed equals to distance upon time right therefore distance equal to speed into time so if you consider 10 into 6 that is 10 km per hour he took 6 hours right and imagine um, now to reach at noon to reach at noon if he must have started again at 7 am because that is constant he would have taken 5 hours right 8 9 10 11 12 that is 5 5 hours so 5 is constant now only thing which, which you don't know is what speed he must have traveled that's why it's basically 6 into 10 equal to 5 into s that's the same thing i have written with 10 by s equals to 5 by 6 so if you have any confusion again please post in the comment section i hope this logic is 
clear what I have we are just used is just basic thing which um, I have just considered over here thank you